All right, you guys, I made it into town. I am all resupplied with food and repacked. Even got myself a brand new pair of underwear on. Casey had to go home, so I am solo at this point. We're at a brand new location, and uh, it's about 5.30 in the evening. So our main goal tonight is just gonna be to hike to somewhere where we can set up camp. Uh, with some water and some glassing in the morning. To the two gentlemen that recognized me in the parking lot, you're only the second people to ever recognize me from the channel. It was really nice to meet you guys. Good luck out here and thanks for the tape. Cow, you guys I definitely overslept it uh, was windy AF last night and it's super windy now but good news it is significantly colder today and uh, this wind is supposed to be bringing in a weather system that might even bring snow but it is supposed to be a lot colder which means the deer will be up and moving but I think we're gonna head right up there and uh, have a glass at all this stuff back here and um, also back over here so yeah let's get packed up and uh, make the best of the day I packed my uh, entire camp up here including four extra liters of water in hopes of camping up here and staying up high where I can just glass and glass but if we're gonna stay up here we're gonna have to find a water source let's find a spot with a good view out of the wind and uh, see if we can't pick out some animals I've been glassing for a few hours now. Haven't seen anything, but the uh, the wind is just absolutely brutal. 25, 30 mile an hour, freezing cold winds. Super hard to glass when you're like shivering so hard that you're shaking. So I came to find a spot and uh, sit in the sun and hide from the wind for a minute. Just doing everything I can to keep warm, but I'm assuming these deer don't want to be out in the wind either, so they're probably hiding in the trees. I think if the wind would just calm down, I think the deer would come out because the temperatures are quite chilly. I have run into several different groups of hunters out here and everyone says the same thing that they haven't seen anything but a few does. I gotta make a couple mile round trip down to get water. I'm gonna grab six liters if I want to stay up here all day tomorrow and glass and try and find a deer. So I'm gonna head down get uh, some water and then I gotta hike it back up there. And then time for evening glassing sesh. So 
Oh, that really sucked. Hopefully it'll be worth it tomorrow. And uh, it is just uh, just before five. So I think it's time to make dinner and glass up a world record buck. Mule deer are a, a freaking hoax, you guys. They're a conspiracy by the hunting industry to get us to spend billions of dollars on fancy hunting equipment. I have been out here for almost a week. Two different areas I've glassed so much, Ben. I've covered so much ground and I've seen two does. I don't know if it's because it was so intensely hot and dry and now it is uh and now it is it's 37 degrees out right now and and I'm down in this little bowl kind of hidden from the wind but just 30 40 feet up that way it is uh brutally windy like 20 30 mile an hour winds oh time to make some dinner mule deer don't exist well, you guys, I was texting on my Garmin inReach with the lady, and she was telling me that she really isn't feeling too hot. She is prego, and we have a two and a half year old at home. So, family first. I am pulling the plug here, uh, I think five days in, something like that. So, Got about a six mile hike out of this joint, probably in the dark, but deer or no deer, I've spent almost a week in the back country, one of the most beautiful places on earth, so can't really complain. We'll see if we can get another shot at one of these elusive mule deer in October. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.